Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as France uh, with Eleanor of Aquitaine as our leader. So, kind of plan is to go for a tourism-y type victory, and uh, yeah, we... Uh, we have, a, we have a pretty reasonable start. There's quite a bit of room that we could play around with. Uh, there's still quite a bit of room over here as well. I'm a little bit surprised. Uh, maybe I should have added like an extra save or two to this map to uh, kind of even things out a little bit. We're all apprentices in but I think overall it, it's, it's fine. Uh, go ahead and sh show yield icons. I want to make sure sometimes my mods activate themselves without my consent, which is not good. So I definitely want to place another farm. That city has uh, some really, really nice things, but mainly I'm just trying to get some farms out to... Um, I'm trying to get some farms out on the field to to get the boost for feudalism, which we're going to be researching in the not-too-distant future. Um, it is time to start researching walls and stuff. I'm going to want a campus or two at some point to try and research these things a little bit quicker. So... Yeah, let's make our way up to medieval walls, I think. Right. You keep exploring. We want to know more about you. I could probably build another scout or two. I want to try and scout past this if I can. A special session that I have nothing to do with. We also want to use this missionary to try to meet some of the other saves in the game. And there we go, this is exactly the kind of situation we want to be in. Where we can take a hit, and then promote, and then hit. Okay. It was a fun oh wow, Mount Roraima is over here. That's actually a really fortunate start for Australia. Although he didn't actually settle it, which is interesting. Oh, my warrior is stuck in here now. <laughs> oh... Okay, one more farm, and there is the feudalism boost that we were looking for. Awesome. Uh, we would like to get machinery relatively early, although, now that I look at it, we don't have a whole lot of rivers to play around with. That is the one downside of the Inland Sea. Um, one thing I'd like to see maybe the developers kind of work on for the Inland Sea is add a few more lakes like smaller lakes to the outside areas uh, with rivers feeding them, feeding into the lakes or out of the lakes or whatever. I feel like um, there just isn't enough fresh water on these maps um, to, to compare to, say, a normal map. Although there is a lot of land room, so there's, that is a worthy consideration. Did my music just cut out or am I crazy? Uh, so here we have Bordeaux. And well, we could actually go for the pyramids here. Let's do it. We're going to attack, and then hopefully get shot. And then heal. There is Kabul and e uh, Egypt, so let's go ahead and make friends with Egypt. We'll send her a delegation. Let's immediately get open borders as well. She wants nine gold. Let's see if there's anything... Do you want to buy my amber? You will pay a pretty reasonable price for that amber, because you really, really want it. And we have two envoys to play with here. I'm going to get one in each of Granada and Kabul, uh, so that I can build settlers faster in my capital. And there is a wasp in my room. Please leave, wasp. Oh my god. Oh my god, the wasp flew back out the window. I literally nearly had a panic attack, because I am absolutely terrified of wasps. <laughs> because... They are just horrifying creatures. I'm going to go close my window now. All right. Wasp crisis averted. <laughs> Listen, the last thing I want when I'm recording a video is for a wasp to appear. Oh, man, he's pillaging my stuff. It's really annoying. No! How did he... How can he live? God damn it. Um, 
So something to keep in mind is that this land is all very likely to have forests on it in the future and have like lots of seaside resorts. If we check the appeal, uh, a little bit of forestation and getting rid of some of these uh, jungle stuff. So we're going to want to get rid of jungle um, if we can. Man, that's upsetting. That <laughs> I can't believe that happened. We almost have the faith to purchase another settler. And in fact, what we want to do is reassign Magnus to the capital and then reassign Pingala to Calais. I should have done that a while ago. It was a little bit of a mistake because we want to build settlers out of the capital now. Knowledge of construction has advanced. All right, we won that fight just barely. But he did get like the full pillage off, which is super obnoxious. It's a decent amount of production. It is a lot of faith though, so we want to make sure that we get that repaired. Um, yeah, get to work on some settlers. So, uh, we got a temple over here in Calais. We have a fully built holy site. Right now, it might be a good idea to work on some other stuff. The settler here takes way too long in the city. What we really need is some... Uh, development. So let's talk about stuff that we could do. The harbor would be decent. I could place the harbor here, then there's a commercial hub going here later. And this is a good city for uh, a pretty decent level of growth. So we're going to go there and then there could be, in fact, a really, really, really great entertainment complex or water park here later on in the game, which will provide adjacency bonuses to all of these nice water tiles. So this works out very nicely, in my opinion, to do it this way. Uh, so just to kind of just to kind of plot out um, where we might put districts. So these are the kind of districts that I'm looking for, uh, potentially. I don't know which one I will go for next. Um, I for certain, I definitely want to do uh, a campus somewhere. Now there's a plus three campus here. There's also a plus three here. There would have been an amazing campus right here. So it's really a question of which one do I want to use. Um... And I think this one I'm going to have a little bit of an easier time getting the adjacency. Is this a hill though? No, it's not a hill. So yeah, it'll be a little bit easier to get the adjacency. I need to think about uh, how many industrial zones I want to get. So I'm going to harvest the rainforest to start just start getting the appeal to go a little bit higher. We have a little bit. I think it would be good to get the dyes online. And then maybe I could sell it to, for example, John Curtin. How much money do you make? You have no income at the moment. Perhaps Guitarja would like to buy dyes? You also lack all your income. Okay. I have 700 gold in the bank. Is there anything that I really, really, really need to buy? I could purchase a settler with this. I want to wait for Magnus to finish, though, establishing so I don't lose a pop. That's important to me. I also need builder charges over there. I think I want to grow faster in here. So we're going to prioritize that. She's saying I avoid smaller shores. Cool. Construction is on the way. Now we have coffee online. None of these guys have money though. Let's go ahead and get the battle cry promotion. So you're tankier. Let's bring the archer into play. You're still stuck there. That's hilarious. Uh, in a kind of haha, that's not very funny and I'm very sad about it kind of way. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to go to that tile. Little optimization mistakes that I'm making. Okay. Need to get these repaired up. We have two build charges left on this guy. Uh, for sure, I want to make sure I put a quarry here so I don't um, cripple this industrial zone. And then we'll go harvest that. You're going to heal up. You're going to pop over here. There's an amazing campus tile right here on this deer. So I tell you what, I'm going to make sure that I get that. There's also iron over here. I 
And there's like a really good industrial zone like right here maybe. But I have secured the iron. I might secure these. Chops for something later. Yeah, we'll do that. The hell out of there. It's a lot of money that I spent on tiles, but they will have value later. Oh my god, this land is insane, dude. Invincibility lies in right, there's defensive tactics, so we can build walls faster if we need to. Right now, we're not in a position to really do that. Settler-wise, I think it is time to get rid of the Ilkum, because we're only getting benefit from that in one city. And we're going to put in the colonization policy because we want to build settlers a lot quicker in the capital and soon we'll be able to purchase settlers which would be good i did spend all my money that i was planning on using on settlers but we're going to get the serfdom policy can we actually plug in the serfdom policy you know what normally i would go for feudalism but i think i'm going to go for divine right first ah shoot I'm going to skip the extra build charges and hopefully we can live off of a combination of Liang and the pyramids if we can get the pyramids. Our next builder will definitely go to be helping build the pyramids if we can. Okay, we'll heal up there. Go this way. Keep exploring. The city is losing its loyalty. That will finish that just slightly quicker. So I really want to place the industrial zone. Um, so let's get that done. I mean, I do lose a jungle thing, jungle chop, but like getting the industrial zone started is really important to me right now. So we'll delete that. There is something to also be said about not putting a harbor here. Like I could do, for example, this. Now... Let me have a look at the... For example, I could do something like this if I wanted lots of appeal on my coastal tiles. This would give me a lot of appeal and then I could put my harbor like right here. Eventually, let's say. Right, I could do this sort of a thing, which isn't bad. This would work out to a decent bit more tourism. Or I could do the all harbor and commercial hub thing. Right, I could do this sort of a thing, which I think is okay. I think it's a pretty reasonable layout. Um, right. Let's get this warrior moving. Move one tile at a time with these arches. Looks like he's building the chicken pizza. Let's see if we can't get a friendship with Australia. You have no money to spend, per se. Keep exploring. And head up in here. I want to find out more about what's going on over there. Alright. Okay, so we missed out on the pyramid. Oh well. Not a huge deal. Uh, we probably could have gotten it if we had like planned ahead for it, but it was just more of a like, let's just try and see if we can get this thing. What we definitely want is a theater square deep into this guy's territory. Uh, in terms of great people earned, a couple of great writers have gone, which is not the end of the world. We should, in theory, be able to catch up in that respect. Uh, let's see. Right, we're working two decent tiles in here. So let's have a look at cities that might need builders. You guys seem okay for now. I think my capital could use a builder. There's a few chops in here that we could get, like these two. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to send you up here to help the capital out. 
shoot that guy, thin the herd of enemies, and we'll continue to explore. You're gonna go here, you're gonna fall back and shoot. We completed a settler, so where's the next one going? I'm thinking of settling on the coffee. It's close enough to my empire to be, like, reasonable, but far enough away that it's, like, not crazy. We'll get a double settler out, and then we'll continue to build settlers. All right, nice. So you're going to scooch left, shoot this man. You're going to scooch in here and kill him off. Excellent. You're going to chop here, finish the settler a little bit quicker. The sooner we get those settlers out, the better. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. This settler, on the other hand, is probably going to go... Like, right there. I want to settle adjacent to... Actually, I'm going to settle right there. A lot of mountains up here that we can use for tourism in the late game. I actually... I played a Inland Sea game in Civ 4. I want to say it's not too long ago. Now, it could have been a very long time ago. But, uh, and in that... The Inland Sea maps were actually quite small. It looks like we discovered another city-state, and it is Auckland. Maybe I could have added some extra city-states to this map. I'd like to explore the Inland Sea map a bit more. Uh, now, this trade route to Paris is fine. However, I'd really like to get, for example, Marseille built up so that I can start getting my uh, theatre squares and amphitheatres going. Uh, let's put the farm there for the adjacency bonus. And then we'll get rid of that. Okay, let's make sure we maneuver this very carefully. I've lived through some terror. So we're hopefully making use of blocking tactics. We're going to promote you with a uh, researcher because science is going to be a little bit harder to come by. Oh, I should have actually done this a while ago. But you have both of those now. And now that this is getting an extra seven of each. Right. So we're getting seven from population. That's a significant boost to our stuff. Right. Wait, did I get the right bonuses here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're getting significant benefits. Um, I'm going to trade with Paris again. It's currently still the best place to trade with. You can see my uh, religion of Le Boeuf has spread quite far. So one cool thing that we can do, really, Really? It showed me not dying on the de on the attack, so why did I lose on the defense when I've got... Oh, I never got this. The flanking bonus from the scout killed me. Damn it. That's disheartening. Um, where could I get a unit? I guess I could purchase a horseman to go help out up here. More settlers. Faith purchasing settlers up to 500 now. Head this way. I'm going to explore around the sort of... Okay. 
Okay, we just barely maneuvered that into a good position. We definitely need a builder over here in Calais. Um, wait, why are you growing so slowly? Stop that. You want to grow. You've got so much room for population. Are you insane? Okay. Uh, I could go for the lighthouse, which would give me housing and a trade route. The trade route would be really, really nice. Um, I need to wait for a builder to come harvest these. I would like more industrial zones. This would be uh, a plus two industrial zone later. Man, that's a hard decision to make. Tell you what, we're just going to grab a galley so we can explore this uh, sea a little bit sooner. I've got one build charge left on you. We want to mine over here. You're heading this way. You're heading this way. I'm going to head you south. I'm trying to expand in omni directions. Settle on that. We have a builder. I'm going to send this builder up to Calais because Calais needs help. This would have been actually a really good industrial zone where I placed the city. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight for a harbor in here for the gold. And then later on, this tile right here will be a water park that will provide to two different tiles a little bit of an appeal and stuff like that. Okay. So I reckon we harvest... Do we want to get the theater square up? I reckon we do. So we're going to harvest there to finish that galley and then go for the theater square. And we can use this galley to explore the water a little bit. Oh my god, dude. These swordsmen are relentless. Good exploration happening. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Get that theater square done. Saddler heading on this way. Okay, you got a builder in here. Definitely need some build charges in this city to help things out. So if you go here... Drop a village there. Let's make sure we grab that. You wait there. Okay. Definitely want to put a mine there to make sure this city has the appropriate level of production. Definitely also want this tile improved. Which will be the job of this guy. He's going to improve these two tiles probably. We want him to attack us so that we get the benefit of the defensive terrain. We completed the uh, industrial zone here. We want to get to work on the workshop. We want to get our amphitheaters up. We need to get those great works rolling. Hey, free recon unit. Hell yeah. There's a good harbor like right here. The good city around, around, around here. We'll see what we can do. 
We have conflicting goals, but, you know. Oh. Apparently a promotion is available with this guy. We'll do a double chop, and then a mine, and then a mine. And hopefully... This will work out just fine. I think I want to settle right there. Hold on to our envoy for now. Chop. Chop. It's Cardiff. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Plus two power for every harbor building. We definitely want to get Susan of Auckland, actually, now that I think about it. For the shallow water benefits. This adds production to our entire empire for essentially free. Poke out into here. Reveal more about the map. Just kind of doing a little bit of looping and exploring and all that sort of jazz. Okay, there's castles. And I want to settle right here because there's some really good appeal tiles in here. So we'll be able to set up some good national parks later on in the game. Uh, over here. It's definitely time to pick up siege tactics. If we're getting close to being in divine right. It means we're close to wanting to build walls everywhere. Uh, amphitheater for sure. Mine here. Now this city has two really good productive tiles. You take care of that. Explore this way. Oh, you actually have a promotion. I should totally take that as a hill promotion now. You're going to swing back down this way. Uh, swing out to the right. Yeah, I definitely could have added more to this game, I think. I think you guys are correct on that. I'm also going to make these episodes just a little scooch longer because you guys asked for it. So instead of 20, 25 minutes, which I was originally planning, we'll go up to like eh, just about 28 minutes, which is like another 30 seconds. Uh, we're going to settle here. Now, importantly... This settlement uh, is mainly for a late game sort of a sort of point of view. Um, so let's get our luxuries online. All uh, right. Um, okay. So I could go for a pretty decent campus right away. Or I could do the Monument Granary thing and get the city to develop. I think we're going to do the Monument Granary thing. Or... We could do it like this. Monument Granary. Purchased. Now the city is developing. And then we go for... Um, Definitely want a campus or two in this game. And our culture is starting to fall behind, so that's going to be a good move. Okay. Watch out. Lots of barbs on this map. Something to keep in mind. We are going to need a bigger military here eventually. Continuing to explore. We'll put the mine there. So you have one build charge left. I mean, this could be an industrial zone. There's no reason for this not to be an industrial zone. It would get one, two, three, four. So that'd be plus two, plus three. Um, definitely want the granary in here to make sure the city can grow. Need more food. A lighthouse would help the city grow. So our next cities are going to want to be pretty spread out. Like we're not going to be like ideally like four tiles. We're going to be four tiles away from our other cities ideally. So like to here, this is four tiles away. It's not right beside. Um. 
But yeah, we're just going to continuously produce settlers because we have cities. We have room for cities, right? There's no reason not to produce cities. For example, I could settle right over here. This is a pretty garbage settlement location, though. Um, so I don't think we'll do that. We're going to just keep looking for maybe potential cities. Can you just heal up? So, for example, um, there's like some good cities up around here. Um, like definitely up here near this wine, I think there's a city. So, ah, uh, oh, stop. God damn it. Um, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but we'll accept it. Let's get the camp online. We definitely want the elephants. Can I trade with you guys? You guys have any money at all? You give me 15 gold for that. How much would you give me? You have no money. Well, oh, why is the AI broke? Can you explain this to me? This is deity, right? Fourteen gold per turn for elephants. This is deity, right? I'm not crazy, huh? All right. Um, I might have to make. The, I might have to start modding the game to make it harder. I definitely want to put a mine on that tile. Oh, what the hell? We'll go to like 35 minutes, okay? This is Gabustan. Try to escape. And there is the Zulus. Alright, let's talk to the Zulus. He wants me to pay him a little bit of money. I'll send him a delegation. Cool. Uh, let's talk to Australia. I feel like the AI is kind of overvaluing luxuries right now, because I'm sp basically fueling my entire economy by selling luxuries, which is a little insane. But this is all part of the process of uh, sort of relearning the game in the context of the Australia or the Antarctic late summer update. A very slight food uh, surplus, which needs to be worked on. Should have maybe picked up feudalism, but it's all good for now. Let's take a moment to heal. You're going to settle in place in Tulu. Um, do I want this cattle here? This cattle is eventually going to get removed. I want to send this builder to maybe go improve Ambois. Ambois. So I think there could be an industrial zone here. This would be my third industrial zone. I need a couple of those, preferably away from the coastline. This would have to be something else. Right. In the city, we're just going to get to work on the water mill. Need lots more builder charges, really. Which means I need to develop La Rochelle. Let's see, can I find a better candidate city to develop for builders? I'm not as busy. La Rochelle is kind of like the perfect city to do this in because I just don't have good spots for districts in here. And there's still relatively okay production around. But I think I might convert over Nantes. Or Nantes, whatever to be my um, builder city. So yeah, probably when this next builder finishes, I'm gonna cancel all the builders in here and then, st or, and then start working on it from knots. Although I might just continue to make builders in Le Rochelle. Listen, strange okay, there's divine right. We're gonna be switching to monarchy and this is gonna trigger a bit of a change in our empire. Uh, we are going to be slotting in the limes card. We're still producing lots of settlers. Uh, the holy side adjacency, I'm not too sold on anymore. The plus one production, I feel, is worth much more to me at this point in the game. Uh, we are also going to be putting in Bastions and Agage. Ha, ah, I said it right that time, nerds.
And what this means is we can now build walls in a reasonable amount of time. I think before I start building walls, I will hopefully maybe be able to vote in the city center thing as the next thing. Um, let's pick up feudalism now. Let's get that iron online too. The city now has like an abundance of interesting tiles to choose from as it develops, which is good. It's exactly what we want from this kind of city. Also, the extra iron could be sold. Like, for example, if we go talk to Jan Curtain. He's maxed out on iron. What about the Zulus? Pay me eight gold. Let's say I gave you 20 horses. What would you give me? <coughs> Excuse me. You give me eight gold plus 110 gold as well. Excellent. Uh, right. Harvest. Build. Harvest. Okay. Good progress we're making. This settler wants to head up around this area. Right, because there's all really nice appeal and stuff that we could use for national parks. And uh, yeah, I think we're off to a really, really good start. We have some interesting opponents. We have yet to get a great work, which kind of sucks. But we did uh, we did go for a relatively late theater squares. We are working on that right now. As you can see, we already are getting six great rider points per turn in comparison to some of the like one per turn that a lot of our enemies slash allies are getting. But yeah, we should soon have a dominance on the great riding market. Since we have lots of amphitheaters and theater squares finishing up in the not too distant future. We also are still pumping out settlers from our capital using Magnus. Now there is something to be said of um, the fact that we're, you know, kind of suboptimally using our capital. We could maybe get more productive tiles using, um, you know, lumber mills. We could, we could slap down a couple of lumber mills here. And in fact, I would actually like these to be lumber mills uh, long term. I think I'll just put that reminder pin for myself. That I want lumber mills along this river. Um, for a couple of reasons. We're picking up siege tactics purely so that we can start building renaissance walls ahead of time. And get ourselves into a really good position tourism wise. Because building uh, a full complement of walls is worth six tourism per city. Per turn for the rest of the game. But yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very, very much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.